Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Crude here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tonight, you're going to be seeing the Big Sid defend his title against the Goldfather. You're going to be seeing Evil Incorporated defend their titles against the Californicators. A TLC match between Silverfish, El Loco, Boston, and Pedro X, and a whole lot more. Stick around. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Crude. It's going to be another great one here on May 13th, 2018. Coming down right now for the first match of the night, the cage match is Nature. The Nature Boy. Woo! <coughs> Sorry, I guess I shouldn't do that. I'll leave that to him. In the meantime, I'm just going to announce and say we saw him the past, this past week on Crude in the triple threat match. It's a controversial pin. Uh, it seems that Bufu the Clown was down and Nature was had a foot on top of him. However, that that win was given to somebody else. I think it was uh, Bufu, or I don't, I don't even know who it, who it was. Just let's go ahead and have a look at it. Looks like it's going to be a big arm throw. Oh, oh my God. And he lands on top of Bufu halfway. <laughs> well, nobody went for the pin there. You, you almost got a pin from uh, Pigman now. And now nature slipped over, and it's on on top of on top of Bufu. That's a count one, two, three. Pigman got it. Pigman got the win, but nature had a had a foot on him too. That's nature, folks. That's uh, he he argued that that call, but the commissioner just said nobody gives a fuck, and we kind of moved on from there. But coming down right now, probably one of the poster boys for the HWA is Sabu. And we saw him two weeks ago on Crude. I got stuff going on all over the place here, so I'm a little, I'm a little disoriented right now because I just coughed my throat out. But uh, we did see him two weeks ago on Crude in the tag team title match. This, uh, it was a double attack by Redneck Rufus. And by double attack, I mean uh, he was attacked while he was outside, uh, not the legal man in that match, but Rufus comes along and two illegal shots. Go ahead and watch this. Here comes Fuzz after him. <laughs> Buzz was in a hurry there. And now, oh! Redneck popping Sabu when he wasn't in. Oh, that's a, that should be a penalty. That should be something there. And Sabu's got to go back out. Here comes Fuzz Piglin ready to bust him up. Oh, again, illegally. The Rufus Redneck grabbing him, flipping him over the rope. Come on, ref. So you knew Redneck Rufus was a dirty motherfucker and a smelly too, but now you know he's a dirty wrestler as well in a different way. So... Yeah, I'm surprised Chaz didn't pick him up. But <laughs> we're going to see. Uh, did, did we have uh, Chaz? I think his has, in fact, picked up uh, Fuzz Pigman on, on his card. So it's, uh, it's, he's, he's got a lot to look forward to there for, for both of them, both the manager and the uh, a, uh, wrestler from both sides. Yeah. I'm really having a hard time tonight. <laughs> Coming down right now is Concrete. That's right. The. New wrestler for Al Richardson, and we saw him two weeks ago uh, on Crude in the six-man battle royal. He took El Loco. He had El Loco up on the turnbuckle and gave him a tumble right off of there to win that match. Let's have a look at it. Dropped right across the knee. <laughs> Concrete, I think, went for something. He got his legs caught on the rope and came slamming down by himself. Not too, not too good there. You got to watch those ropes. Uh-oh, Concrete has El Loco up now. Set him up. If he can get flipped over, he's, he's got him in a compromised position. And, oh, he flips him over. This could be it for a look. He's going down. There he goes. And Concrete is your winner here with the six-man battle royal. There you have him, folks. Concrete. Tough, tough guy there. Fought six, fought, fought five other guys and won that battle. So, with that, we got the, uh, they're going to lower the cage in here, as you see. Nature's getting ready. Sabu ready. And Concrete. Ready for this three-way three-way cage match. And Sabu will... <laughs> they all three grab at each other. <laughs> but no miss. Oh, and there's a suplex to start things off by Concrete on Sabu. And now... Oh, Concrete now giving a, a, a judo throw there on Nature's. Concrete's starting out early here. And, oh, kicks Nature right in the ribs. 
Sabu, Sabu comes up with a big roundhouse to the back of the head. Uh, roundhouse punch and, and nailed him. Oh, now a hamstring stretch on concrete by Sabu. And now, oh, uh, pulling that neck down by nature and Sabu. And picking, and picking Sabu back up again. Send them, sending them to the ropes. Oh, almost tripped over concrete there. And they bump into the utility and nothing happens. Oh, and an arm lift. That's something that happened. Sabu. And Sabu now with concrete. Now concrete again. Everybody's tripping over each other, getting whipped to the ropes and they bang off and nothing happens. Oh, wow. And a punch from hell from Sabu. And now nature coming in, taking him over the, over the knee. It's over the knee. He says, you've been a bad boy. I'm Time to get your spanking, Sabu. And Sabu, and I'll take him. <laughs> concrete almost gets in the way again. And they kind of bang off of each other and nothing really happened there either. Now nature. Oh, Sabu reversing for a suplex. And concrete showing off. Crowd loves it. And concrete <laughs> swinging, and not hitting the damn thing, and then finally grabbing Sabu, ripping him down by the shoulders. And Nature will sweep right in there and take over. Kind of, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> Nature just picked him up while Concrete's jumping on him, doing old school on him, pounding away. Now Concrete will go for Nature. And, oh, another whip suplex by Concrete. Well executed. Nature now hurting. Sabu just starting to get back up. Now, Concrete. Oh, Concrete taking punches. Oh, punches galore. Oh, my God. <laughs> and a clothesline from Nature. Bounces him right off the cage. And he always, oh, his head's hurting. You can tell. And now Sabu getting torn down by Nature. And it seems Nature's now in control. And not like drop by Nature. Crashing down on Sabu. Now, Concrete will come around there. Oh, oh a German suplex by Concrete on Nature. And a kick to the back. A boot to the back. To boot. <laughs> Send, oh, send a Sabu to the corner now. And punching the kidney. Kidney punch by Concrete. Oh, and Sabu will come around to reverse that with an elbow. And he picks oh, Concrete up for a body slam. Nature now coming over. Locking up with Sabu. And he gets sent. sent he doesn't know where he doesn't get thought he gets sent to the ropes. But no, he just gets, gets a big knee to the gut. And Sabu. Oh, now Nature will take his turn. Send Sabu to the turnbuckle. And Sabu oh, grabs him by the mask and just throws him over. Now going. <laughs> what the hell did Concrete do? He tried to drop something. He just totally missed and hurt himself. Now he's running around. Now he's going up to the ropes. And ah, oh, his nature tries to punch him. A flying elbow down on Sabu. And now a oh, double block there. And nature with an arm throw. Now oh, clothesline, big clothesline on Concrete. The little little Japanese guy taking him down. And now Sabu's going to take him over. And now oh, dropping him right on the knee. A popular move here in the HWA, a very powerful one too. Put a hurt into him, and now boots, more boots for a hurt. And the shockwave sending up their arm there on nature. Concrete stand on the side now. Concrete and Sabu. Oh, Concrete will go. Oh, Concrete swings him around both sides. Josie go, and finally drops him on the knee. Concrete now, dragging Sabu went by his arm, and set him up for a neck breaker. Oh, snap goes the neck right there. Nature now. Nature, nature tried to figure he's got the concrete. <laughs> concrete was distracted, but no, concrete comes right along and rips him off the cage. And now an arm lift by nature on concrete. Concrete now getting concrete stepping all over Sabu's head, getting bounced off the ropes, and nothing, nothing happens again. And now concrete dropping the <laughs> dropping nature across the knee. A lot of seeing a lot of that and kicking in the back right now. Sabu's taking his time getting up. And now concrete. Concrete, oh, working, working the elbow on the, on the knee of nature. Sabu takes a moment to show off. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! A clothesline, their fist connected right, right alongside of Solo Concrete's head now, big splash! Ah. Concrete, uh, Concrete's down. Uh, Sabu's getting whipped to the ropes by nature now. Nature, from behind, bringing him around. Oh, sends him to the post with the shoulder. And now uh, just gives him a big ass to the face. Says, eat my ass, Sabu. Now Nature, whipping concrete to the ropes. Nature picking up momentum and sends him around. Uh-oh, we've seen this before. It looks like he may be going for a ride. It's a, it could be the rickshaw, and yes, he punches him to the back. Sabu, looking on, and here goes concrete. Whoa, <laughs> down he goes. Ah, Sabu, Sabu stood aside for he didn't want to, he wanted to do part of that. And now moving, <laughs> he didn't want any part of anything, but <laughs> Nature says, here, have a drop kick. And now Nature going up, now Nature with an opportunity here. Sabu and Concrete down. Up, oh, Sabu's back up now. Sees Nature, and he's grabbing, he's, he's, he's over. Nope, nope, 
he's, he's, uh, Sabu's coming up after him. And, and concrete's right in the way. Is he going to Oh, <laughs> they're going to land on top of him. Look out! Ah! <laughs> Just missed him. Oh, that would have been a mess. A three-car pileup. And Sabu now whipping concrete to the turnbuckle. Sabu. Oh, big slap. Oh, felt that across the room here. And slap us on concrete. Nature getting that up slowly. And a giant fist. And, oh, here comes the Empire Driver by Sabu on concrete. Taking him down to the ground floor. And a kick to the ribs on Nature by Sabu. Sabu. Trying to get things going here. And he will. Oh, he gets him up. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a suplex. He just picked him up and threw his ass. Now, going up, the concrete's right there. I don't think he's going anywhere. Dang him back down, comes crashing down to the mat. And a stomp to the, to the groin. Oh, right. Nature's going for a pin. I don't think he understands the rules of the cage match here. Oh, concrete's just wailing on him. Concrete now, threatening everybody. Just <laughs> throwing that, throwing back that fist, ready for something. And Nature now getting taken. Oh, with a with neck throw, Jack Judo throw. And a boot to the kidney. Wow. That was a blast. And now Concrete. Concrete will head up, and Sabu's getting up. Concrete's, Concrete's got a little lead on him here. Sabu's taking his time. Nature's down. Concrete's way up there. And, and he pulls the leg over, and he goes down. Looks like Concrete's going to win this one. As we wait for the bell, Concrete descending, and there it is. Yes, Concrete's declared the winner of the cage match. He escapes handily. Let's see it again. <laughs> Are we going to see anything? Oh, yes, we saw the... Uh, Oh, the rickshaw there, throwing concrete way over. That's a lot of body mass to be throwing around there. And then the Empire Driver, concrete really took a beating this match. You got the Empire Driver, you got the rickshaw, but not to be outdone, he climbs right over while everybody else was snoozing. And we have the winner of the first match tonight, concrete. We see him go down. And he likes going down. Uh, no, he's not that way. <laughs> not, not in a fritzy way. <laughs> but a little exhausted nature finally gets back up. He's, he's before he realized the match is over. He's just like, huh? What happened? Is it over? Okay. So, concrete there. And that's our first match, the, the cage match. Coming up next, we're going to have the No Holds Barred match. And it is going to be uh, a team we haven't seen in some, quite some time. It's going to be Funny Business versus the new appointed uh, from the commissioner, his team, the Tex-Mex Alliance. So, look for some, uh, some old, something old, something new. And we're going to have that coming up. Uh, right after we break here, and this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom, and we'll be right back. Welcome back here to Milwaukee, Wisconsin on a Sunday night crude. And coming up now is it's the party time. Party time express coming down. No, it's funny business is actually the name. So they love to party. As you can tell. And there's the gimp. All slaked up and Boof of the Clown, ready for action. We did that. Well, like I said, we haven't seen Funny Business in action for quite some time. In fact, we have to go back to week seven uh, on Crude. And he was in the tag team title match against the Asian Persuasion, another team we haven't seen in quite some time. But uh, they were subjected to the forefoot. Uh, Boof of the Clown had the forefoot under. It's finally named that uh, by the Asian Persuasion. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, this, this double, this thing, whatever they do. Oh, double kick to the gut. That spins around a kick to the back. The clown is, is in trouble. He's hurting. Nature goes for the pin. The, the ref's out of place, but he comes back around. Here's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, the Asian persuasion with a flurry of moves just takes it. That's them, folks. Funny business. That uh, They're all business, and there's nothing funny about it, except perhaps the way they look and act and their mannerisms. But uh, once that bell rings, it's, it's all business, folks. So... With that, we got them, uh, we got, <laughs> they're still partying. I dig this crew. I, I love this song. I'm partying myself. Can't see me, but I'm shaking it. Shake it down. Oop. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Coming down right now. Here they come. I like this song, too. A take on, uh, Ghost Riders on the Storm. But I don't, however, like the theme too much, uh, as nobody does, uh, with the commissioner. You gotta respect the commissioner, supposedly. But uh, the wrestlers, I don't know, not so much. Tex-Mex Alliance, we did see them in action only one time so far. And it wasn't exactly the noblest of pursuits. It was two weeks ago on Beatdown in the handicapped Tornado match. Just basically a beating of Sabu. And uh, Sabu finally got taken by the over-the-shoulder over slam. And uh, they were able to pin that. Let's have a look at it. 
They're, they're, they're new to wrestling, so they, they haven't really established their, their moves yet. But now, oh, this is going to be a body slam. Just to barely graze on the ropes there. That, that could have been even more disastrous. And now getting dragged out. Cowboy Cody just sort of standing in the bay, letting Blanchard do his thing. And now his pin. One, two, three. And that's it, folks. Sabu has succumbed to the Tex-Mex Alliance. Yes, that's the Tex-Mex Alliance, folks. And uh, <laughs> Sabu getting the beating that the Gimp so, so, so much wanted. And But we're ready to start here. And there's the bell. And this is a this is a tornado match, so pretty much anything goes. And go, Gimp starting out early with a stomp, and now Bufu with a slam. Oh, and a neckbreaker by Gimp. Yeah, the funny business starting out starting out hard on this one. <laughs> they like it that way too. <laughs> now a kick, and Bufu with fists on. Uh, let's say that that'd be Cowboy Cody. Cowboy Cody, uh, so, so you know, is in the blue jeans, and you got Dirty Dick Blanchard in the black ones. And Dirty Dick getting a suplex by. Hey, by uh, the, uh, not Bufu, by the Gimp, and Bufu is pounding away on with the elbows on on uh, Co Cowboy Cody. Now I, I, I don't think they got, the, the Cowboys have gotten any moves off here. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Uh, Bufu now, Bufu picking up Cody, and a punch by Dick, Dirty Dick, on Bufu, and now taking taking Bufu down, and oh, big oh, suplex on the on the ropes by Bufu. Oh, and uh oh, it looks like the, it looks the Gimp is out. And it's all Bufu's all alone here. Though there's not much action from Cowboy Cody. Dirty Dick there. Oh, he takes a neck, rolls him over there. Uh, and now, uh, uh, stomping and knee, with knees to the gut, stomping. Oh, now here comes Cowboy Cody and Blanchard's out. Now, with Cody. Oh, Cody with a big elbow. And here comes the Gimp now. The Gimp. Oh, the Gimp with a DDT neck breaker of, of some sort of combination there. And Gimp now drags. Uh, Anderson out. Anderson, Cowboy, Co Co Cowboy Cody Anderson. I'll call him many things tonight. But uh, you, you know who I'll talk about. And now, while well, caught up in the ropes there, the, the, while celebrating, Bufu now gets a face slam to the mat while the Gimp was taking out elbows on, on Anderson. And now, the Gimp going up. Dirty Dick going out. Is he going to get some extracurriculars? The Gimp's up. And he, he does. And Bufu's going after him. Oh, big double axe handle by the Gimp. And Bufu. Oh, Bufu, well, yeah, bringing a bat out, knocks it right out of his hands. And now, oh, a turnaround suplex on the concrete floor. And, oh, big punch by the Gimp. And now the Gimp, here comes, oh, with the ass whipping. And, and uh, Bufu, uh, putting, <laughs> putting him up on the table, but he rolls right off. So Gimp now, Gimp dropping the knee to the back. Bufu saying, uh, get up, dirty, you dirty dick. <laughs> is a description as, as well as a name. And now punches by the Gimp. And the Gimp now. Oh, the Gimp with the butt plug. Oh, that could do it, folks. Anderson's taking a pounding. <laughs> and it's uh, one particular place. And he goes for the pin. There was one. There's two. There's three. Funny business. Making fast business of the Tex-Mex Alliance. Let's look at it again. Wasn't a whole lot to see. It was very quick here. Here was the, uh, the ass whipping on, on Anderson by the Gimp. And then we saw this, the, the butt plug, and just that spine buster. Oh, that's a horrible thing. It, it's hard to get up after that. And uh, let's have another look at it from a little further away. As <laughs> we saw again, Bufu taking care of business on the outside, big gimp on the inside. And uh, what an effort. Goes, goes for the pin. Dirty Dick didn't know what was going on. It's not like he could have helped. And there was, there was one. There was two. And, of course, there was three. So... Uh, there's there's no alliance between coaches uh, in the HWA, but you got to think that after the uh, after the assassination on Sabu, uh, you got to figure that Chaz Signer's giving a two two big thumbs up to the funny business here. So uh, there you have that. And there they have their winner. Nothing nothing but a uh, little little pride there, as you see. Bufu and the Gip, a great team, in action once again. After, after a long, long time, hopefully we'll see them in action a little more. But right now, we're going to go away, and when we come back, we're going to see some women's tag team action. It's going to be uh, Evil Incorporated versus the Californicators. And you are watching the, uh, the Anal Network here. We remind you always wear a condom. And stick around. we got more HWA action coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Crude here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All kinds of beer. Uh, it's free. Beer is free, of course, at the HWA venues. Uh, just It's tough to get in, tough to get tickets, but once you're there, you can go ahead and take a and get, drink yourself fucking silly. And there's something I'd like to drink silly right there, shaking it around. It is 
Morning Glory Hole, and Muffy Trust Fund, the Californicators, coming out. As you'll see, we got Muffy with the uh, belt around her waist, the, the Women's Championship. But we're going to see the Californicators three weeks ago in Crude uh, in the Women's Tag Team title. Uh, they, they won that match by uh, the executing... Oh, no, I'm sorry. They lost that match, actually. Uh, it was the M180 by Kathleen Dynamite that robbed them of the belt. So let's have a look at that. And taking her up on the shoulders, ladies and gentlemen, it's the M180, and I think this might do it. Spins her around. Boom! Slam to the ground. And gets back up. Does she go, does she go for the pin? She's got to roll her over first. Going to drag her out here on her face. <laughs> Drags her on her face. Chas is saying, come on, cheer for her. Not, not for that one. Cheer for, the, cheer for my guys. And she goes for the pin. Here it is. One. Two. Three. The Big Bang Theory wins. And Chaz's belts have been taken away. The Californicators, baby. They, uh, yeah, they put out a lot all day and night well some nights and some nights they wrestle but they're always very active and that's why they're in such great shape <laughs> so with them <laughs> i'm just gonna move on <laughs> moving on moving on yes coming out now there they come it is evil incorporated charlotte webb and satanic of bloodlust the champions here and we're gonna see how they got those belts around their waist it was two weeks ago on beatdown and their women's tag team match against the uh, who had taken it, it was the web spin performed by Charlotte Webb on Kathleen Dynamite. Kathleen Dynamite won the the earlier match, and then he had her, her losing it with the uh, with the Evil Incorporators. Let's have a look at that. And she better hurry up. Oh, oh, it's playing possum, and and there she goes with the elbow, and now another web spin. This time on Kathleen, right on her face and her belly. And now she goes to the pin. Bertha coming in, distracting the ref. And there's a pin. It's slow. One, two. Will she get it? Three. Yes, she does get it. And now it's been around. One. Hey, it's just Satanica. Evil Incorporated, ladies and gentlemen. Proof that evil can triumph and often does. <laughs> Look at the White House. <laughs> it's not that I don't need a whole lot of more direction than that. But. That's them. They're ready, and uh, they're going to collect the belts here. Now we're waiting, yeah, and they're going to be getting warmed up. As you see, there is the, the HWA Candy Apple Red belt for the Women's Tag Team Championship. And uh, actually, I think it's, th it's this match. Uh, I think that whoever wins here is going to be carrying that over straight to Horseman Mania. So that's something to look forward to, a, a, a competition there. Whoever wins here will be defending at Horseman Mania. So there's the belt. We start off. Taking their time, starting off. They're in no hurry. They get paid by the hours. They love it. And we got a face drop by on, on uh, Charlotte Webb by Glory Hole. And now Glory Hole with a stomp to the elbow. <coughs> and now Bex is banging the head against the mat. Taking it to her. Charlotte Webb. Charlotte Webb slowly getting up. And there's on the second rope with the taunt. Waiting for Charlotte to get back up. What's coming at her? Usually it's a double axe handle, but I'm not going to say... Oh! That's an acrobatic scissor throw here. <clears throat> the crowd booing for some reason. I don't think the crowd likes either. I don't think the crowd likes anybody. They just come here to boo. You ever notice that? They seem to boo everybody except for like Pedro X and uh, there's like one other guy. I think Nature is about the other guy. Everybody else gets booed. It's such a fickle bunch of bitches. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't talk about our audience that way. No. Oh, anyway, we got Glory Hole now taken. Webb to the turnbuckle. And now taking her away from the turnbuckle. What she got in mind? Oh, a judo throw with the neck there. And standing there. And standing. And standing some more. And standing a little bit more. And while she stands, she's standing. Finally, <laughs> we got a little action here. Web back up with an elbow to the back of the neck and a kick and a punch. Oh, all kinds of shit going on. Oh, and now Bulldog right on, right on uh, Morning Glory Hole. And she's going over. Will she go for the tag? She, she took a little bit of a beating. That's a wise choice there. And then will come Satanica. Satanica now, face to face. And she's going to start off quick with a crucifix suplex. I wouldn't uh, hold a crucifix towards Satanica. She might burn your face off. You never know. But with the <laughs> Oh, double drop kick by Muffy as she comes in for the tag. And now a oh, big clothesline. On Satanica. And another double drop kick, but that one misses. Satanica slides out of the way of that one. 
And now she's going to pick up and give her a, a turnaround powerbomb there. So, so, up. And now Muffy. Picking Muffy up again. Morning Glory Hole sitting on the outside trying to get a rest. But now, oh, another bulldog here. This one by Satanico on Muffy. And Muffy. Oh, look at those panties. She used to have black panties on. Now she got those shiny orange ones on. Oh, I'm just getting all kinds of <laughs> hot and bothered over here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> he goes for the tag. And Charlotte Webb now in a stance. And <laughs> stomps on Muffy. Is trying to crawl. I think she thinks she's in the wrong corner. And Satanica says, go to work, babe. Webb dragging Muffy out on her face. And now dragging her face across the HWA logo. We have a pretty good paint, paint crew there, so that doesn't rub off, fortunately, for, for Muffy. And Webb now has Muffy up. And, oh, going for a, a big fist, but a block. And Muffy will return. And now Muffy. Whoa! Spinning all the way around for a scissor throw. Muffy now. Picking Charlotte up. A lot goes, I mean, the, the belts are the belts, but it, wrestling, defending a title at WrestleMania or Horseman Mania, sorry, <laughs> that, that's something big, and that's what these these guys really want to. Oh, a big flying throw splash, assisted by Muffy on, on, on web by Glory Hole. Wow, Glory Hole with a stomp. And Glory Hole, shoulders bothering her a little bit, but she comes around and stomps her back of the neck. And now. A neck breaker coming up. Oh, by Glory Hole on Webb. Webb now getting picked up. And Webb now with a... Oh, elbow to the back of the neck. Man, morning Glory Hole. Oh, another, another elbow to the back of the neck and the back of the head, too. Make you see stars. Of course, everybody in the HWA is a star, but that's not the type we're talking about. Uh-oh. One, two, three, kind of long. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten count on the up, on the <laughs> turnbuckle and a late swing. And now, oh, diving for the tag. She comes in. And Satanica now will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Glory Hall. It goes, to, goes foot to kneecap. as a drop kick. And now a big, a big clothesline. And another drop. And Glory Hall is down. Taking a pounding real quick here. Now, Glory Hall up. And taking across the knee. Oh, by Satanica. Satanica now. <clears throat> Heads to the turnbuckle. Goes up to the second. And a uh, flying splash on Morning Glory Hall. Flattens out those implants. <clears throat> and picks her up again. Now, what was that? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of barking out there. <laughs> the bitches know how to bark. And they're getting a drop across the top rope. And Charlotte's getting back up after a short rest. Satanica still in control. And Satanica. <clears throat> Whipping Glory Hall to the, to the turnbuckle. And, uh-oh. The crowd, the crowd goes crazy. Here comes the ritual. Here it comes. Look at it. Oh, down she goes. Crashing down on the mat. And Charlotte stirring up the crowd. Muffy looks on helplessly. And a spinning leg drop across the implants once again. <laughs> By Satanica on Glory Hall. Glory Hall getting picked up. And Satanica now will take her to the turnbuckle. To her own turnbuckle, and will they go for a tag? Oh, just uh, oh, boots and, and heads and punches. Just laying it on there. And Satanica is going to go out. Uh oh, I see what she's setting up for. It's the big boots. Here they come. Oh, God. Nailed her. We've seen several tag team matches end on this, and this may be an ending if she goes for the pin. She does. She's down. Ref out of place. A little slow there. There's one. There's two. There's three! Evil Incorporated defends their title and earns a title shot at Horseman Mania. Let's have a look at it again. Right, tough, tough action with this team. Here we saw a move by the Californicators. Flying splash on Webb by Glory Hole. Oh, pelvic splash. Splash your pelvis on my... Oh, that was a uh, ritual. Before I continue with that statement. <coughs> and now, here was the big boots, the finisher. Not really a finisher, but uh, it did the job. And she goes for the pin. Well, she Oh, that was afterwards. Oh, and then she slides in for the pin. And notice that uh, Muffy was, was holding back. I, I don't know why she didn't try to go in and stop it. She really had nothing to lose at that point. But the uh, ref comes down and gets the count. There's one. Of course, there's two coming. And uh, there's three. There it is. And the, Cal the uh, Californicators have lost uh, a chance at Horseman Mania where the Evil Incorporated has won. And they will be defending those exact belts there.
on that Sunday night. Or Sunday night? I think it's a Sunday night. Uh, we haven't exactly decided, nailed it down, but uh, we're working on that. We will let you know on the website. That's facebook.com slash horsemen wrestling association. You can get all the hottest news there and see what's going on. You can also join the HWA community uh, directly off of that page. So, with, with Evil Incorporated and that win, we're going to be moving on to the next match, which is going to be a TLC match. Oh, gotta love these. With Silverfish, El Loco, Boston, and Pedro X. Stick around, folks. Lots more action to see tonight. And this is the Anal Network reminding you always wear a condom. And we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, once again, as we're uh, here all we're here all night, folks. <laughs> we're not stand-up comedians, but we try sometimes. But the uh, upcoming now is the Silverfish. Yes, I got the name right. Yay! <laughs> Silverfish coming out here for this this match, which I, th- I think I lost on the page. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, here we go. No, that's not it either. <laughs> that's the TLC match. Of course, I just said that. Silverfish now. Well, let's see what Dale Silverfish did this past week on Beatdown in the ladder match. It was, uh, there's not much to see, actually. You'll see him at the top of the ladder getting a case after he has caused some serious carnage. Bodies laying about, and they just couldn't uh, take him, so, well, let's have a look. Sabu now up on his feet. Nature up on his feet. They're coming around, but I think, I think it might be, might be academic here. I think it's all over. Nature, nature looking, goes, goes for a punch, and uh, Sabu coming up. And Sabu, no, Sabu. Sabu's back down, nature's down. And yes, they uh, they called it there. Silverfish with the win. That's the Silverfish, folks. And he's here tonight to, well, I'm not going to say defend that title, but uh, see if he can make it two in a row for the ladder matches. Uh, TLC match being a ladder match. I don't know if, there's the, if the rules, if you go through a table, if that ends the match, or if it's like an either-or thing, or if you still have to use the ladder. But coming out right now is... El Loco, the crazy one from Mexico and Guatemala, I think. I, I don't know. He was apparently like on a jet airplane as he was, you know, I'm just making up some shit. <laughs> I'm going to stop that immediately. And we're going to see El Loco this past week on Crude winning the television title or in the television title match performing the Bueno Bomb on The Godfather. Let's have a look. He's on a stance. And, oh, got a kick there. Here comes the Bueno Bomb. It's, uh, he's up, and booyah! Bueno Bomb. Yes, muy bueno, as he would say, and drag 12 father out. And if he goes for a quick pin, this might be it here. He does. And there's the pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. El Loco with the win. He is now the television champion. The gold father is giving it up. There you saw El Loco. He's <laughs> It just, it just switched over. We saw Lolo Loco sporting that television title that he earned in that match. Coming down now is one half of the Asian persuasion to a crowd booing festival here. It's Boston. And uh, Boston, who we saw, when did we see him? We saw him in the past week on Beatdown, as well as the Silverfish. He was in the Extreme Rules match, though. And uh, he performed on somebody who just came out, El Loco. He performed the Beaner, which is uh, just a devastating. It's painful to watch. Uh, but I love watching it anyway. So let, let's have you have a watch at it. Now oh, here comes the Beaner. Here it comes. Booyah! Down on the mat. Just El Loco's head. And Godfather saying, ah, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, but Godfather gets a belt, gets a, a German suplex there, and rolls out. And now Boston's going for a, a pin on El Loco. It was, a, it's, it was some time. One, two, three. Boston with the win. Pin on El Loco. Let's have you have a watch at it. Yes, I actually said that. That was a sentence that came out of my mouth. Be sure to write that down. That's going to go right up there with uh, a lot of things that uh, George W. Bush said <laughs> throughout his, his career. But coming down now is the world champion Pedro X, who has just been an amazing wrestler as of late. And we're going to see him. When do we? We're going to see him win his world championship, actually. Uh, he was battling Silverfish, and he performed the Silver Stretch on him. Silver Stretch, Silverfish. It was a great combination, at least for Pedro. Let's have a look at it. Third shot, nailed it. Nailed it hard on that one. <laughs> I said hard on it. And rolls it, kick rolls him over. Oh, here comes he's signaling the silver stretch once again on Silverfish. The second time we've seen it. Maybe the second time's the charm. He's got him, folks. He's Silverfish trying to work out. 
He, he, he taps out. He taps out. He, he cannot take it anymore. Pedro X has defended the world championship. Pedro X, ladies and gentlemen, a true champion here in the HWA. 102 years old. 102 years young. That's right. Oh, we got the captain. There's El Loco. Boston. And naturally, Pedro X in this four-way TLC match. And they're going to start off. Oh, Boston's going to try to start off and just ends up getting thrown over the ropes by Silverfish. And El Loco's going to pick up Pedro X. And take him. Oh, take him for a face slam. Then now, Silverfish did something to Boston. I didn't see. Oh, now a knee drop by Silverfish. El Loco picking up. Oh, kicked by Silverfish. Oh, and a suplex on, on the old man working the back early. Oh, and a knee drop on the on the floor by Silverfish. And Silverfish with kicks now. El Loco going at El Pedro X with the three times to try him elbow. And punching. Silverfish just punching away. And, oh, big elbow by him. And now El Pedro X is going off the ropes. And we'll pick, get picked up in Blyslam. And Boston finally wakes up and jumps on to Silverfish and gives him a pounding he, des he well deserves. Pedro X now. Oh, Pedro X getting a German suplex there. Pedro X getting a pounding. He's just going to roll out for a moment or two. Try to gather himself. And it looks like Boston's ready for the, bringing the table in. And, oh, there's a scuffle. A struggle between. And get, uh, the Silverfish will take that. <laughs> Silverfish took the table away. And Boston said, fuck it, and just punched him right through it. Knocking him on his ass. And now, Pedro X with a big uh, body slam on Del Loco. Boston working with the boots on the hips of, of Silverfish. And looks like a suplex coming up. A whip suplex. Nicely whipped suplex by Pedro X. And now, Silverfish with a power bomb on that concrete. Oh, my God. That'll slip a disc or nine. And now, some kind of slam went on there. Looks like Pedro X is working the elbows on Del Loco. And just... <laughs> Silverfish just trying to kick, the, kick Boston out of the way as he's going around. And now dropping the knee. And Pedro X. Pedro X will block. And punches, uh, punches El Loco. Oh, and a big clothesline. Oh, <laughs> Pedro on El Loco. I'm sorry, I just heard my voice crack like that. Uh, I'm Peter Brady all of a sudden. And now everybody's outside. And we got a big shoulder pull by Silverfish on Boston. And, oh, Pedro X sails uh, El Loco into the, uh, the announcer's table. It's not a safe place for announcers. That's why you never see him there. And look, Pedro X saying, hey, Silverfish, we're not done with you. It slams him to the to the barricade in Boston. I just, just saw him sit back up. I was wondering where he went. And now Silverfish. Oh, Silverfish with a, with a German suplex on the old guy. And looks like a another a turnaround suplex by El Loco on Boston. And we got, oh, Pedrick's taking the knees on Silverfish. And El Loco's going to try to help out, but he gets kicked away. Pedrick now goes over and just punches El Silverfish right in the head. Pedrick did. And, oh, big drop kick by Pedro. On Silverfish. And punches. Big punches by Boston. High high punches. Low punches. Punches everywhere. And now picks El Loco up. And face plants him right on the right on the concrete there. And Pedro X now. Stomping. Trying to get trying to get Silverfish's attention for the most part. And finally picks him up. And he's gonna carry him over. And no, uh, oh, just throws him right to the post. Bouncing his head off. And it looks like oh, they're separating him. My eyes are trying to go two different directions here. Boston. Takes him, takes El Loco to the barricade. And that sends him up and he trips over his shoelaces. Now Boston's going over to, to join the other two. And decides not to. Oh, we saw DDT by, by Silverfish. And we saw Boston headbutt the table to move it across the mat. And he's setting it up. I'm not sure what, uh, he's got no one to send it to through. So he's going to have to come out and uh, get somebody. Oh, here comes El Loco. Volunteering to the position. And Pedro X drops Silverfish across the knee. And let's so have El Loco get sent to the table. Boston with punches from behind. El Loco now. I was, uh, sorry. Oh, El Loco getting his head rammed off the... Uh, getting dropped on the turnbuckle there. And Pedro X. Pedro X now sells, sends Silverfish, who trips over air. They, I don't know why they do that. It must be very thick air down there. It's uh, probably a lot of beer farts and stuff. And uh, you think they float, but no, they're quite dense. And finally, Boston's bringing a ladder in. <laughs> he knocks the table off. Off its uh, legs there. And... Oh, Boston! <laughs> just as El Loco's... <laughs> Boston on a rampage with the ladder. Taking out El Loco. Taking out Pedro. And now Silverfish will come in. And Boston goes up. Silverfish looking. And he's going to join him quickly. El Loco's down. Oh, it punches now. Silverfish. Oh, and uh, Boston getting it from both sides. That big uh, flurry of punches by Silverfish. And he comes crashing down. And it's 
the old guy tripped over Boston. I don't know what the hell just happened there. It's like Boston fell on <laughs> Pedro X had vertigo. Silverfish now, he can win two in a row here. He's all alone. There's no one contending with him. It does take a little while to get that, uh, that rig undone. So Silverfish has a, a little time to work with here. Let's see, if it'll, let's see if it'll do it. Still nobody challenging. El Loco's trying to get up. Boston's showing signs of life now. Pedro. Pedro looks like he's throwing up. I don't know. Right, somebody want to get a mop, please? Uh, well, anyway. El Loco whips Boston out, and Silverfish is still working on, on the case. And now El Loco finally climbing. And El Loco, that, that's, uh, Silverfish has to study himself. Now punches by El Loco. More punches on Silverfish. And, oh, he just takes him and throws him on top of the table. Oh, man, he landed hard on that. Bouncing his head off. Hey, he might have might have gotten a concussion. We've seen several concussions uh, this season in the HWA. Now Pedro X looking at El Loco. And now, will he get into position? No, he'll walk around. He'll take his time. He, he figures, uh, he's, he's confident that, what's he doing? He's walking. He's a mole walker. Come on, Pedro, do something. And Boston goes in. El Loco might have this, folks. El Loco's been taking, taking his time. Is, is anybody going to challenge him? Uh, finally, yeah, Boston comes in with a fist. And Pedro X says, screw it. You're getting out of the ring. Don't get ho attention, hog. And El Loco, does he have it? He, he had Pedro going up. Oh, no. He has to give up. And Silverfish from behind. And Pedro X from front. Punches. And El Loco comes crashing down. Now Pedro X is up and has the case. And Silverfish trying to push the ladder out from under him. Pedro X is uh, not exactly frail. <laughs> Silverfish is like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. And he's going to have to go up and, and challenge him. And he does. And Pedro has to steady himself and get ready for a scuffle. Oh, and Silverfish now. Punches, punches, more punches. By on Pedro. And Pedro, Pedro blocks. And now a return punch. And uh, uh, Fista comes back and forth here. And Boston coming up. Oh, and there goes uh, Silverfish crashing back down. And Pedro will work on the ladder again. And this time Boston tries to push it out from under him. Pedro X is all, is all muscle there. It's hard to push a ladder out from under somebody like that. And he gives up too. El Loco now back in. Pedro X, if he works fast, he can have this here. He's getting punched from behind now. Boston. Boston with a punch. Can Pedro have it if he, if he can just keep his nerves steady up on top of the ladder? And, oh, he, Boston misses with a punch. There it is. Oh, he wins. Pedro X gets the case and has won this battle. So let's see. Let's look at it again. A lot of opportunities missed here. From uh, Silverfish and from El Loco. There was a DDT on Silverfish outside the ring. And then you had uh, Boston. Boston threw a punch, but <laughs> Pedro X didn't even seem to notice. He was tuned in on that case and says, I'm getting this case. And he did. So uh, by Pedro X just winning matches left and right. Unbelievable for this man. He's, he's just a, a hero of the HWA. A, 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 a hero of the darlings or, or a darling of the heroes. I, I don't know. I don't know how that phrase goes. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to cut away. When we come back, we will have the Inner Horseman Championship match between Pedro X and the Goldfather. This is uh, the Anal Network reminding you always wear a condom and stick around for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for this final match of Crude here on May 13th, 2018. Every once in a while, I like to give the date. It's not really that important, but uh, it gives me something to talk about. <laughs> like, I need, like I need any help in that department. <laughs> Coming down now is the Goldfather, accompanied by his manager, Joe Petito. The Goldfather has all kinds of gold. <laughs> He, uh, he did lose his, his Inner Horseman title. Is that what we're going to show? Uh, we do, no, no, no. We're going to see him actually winning the television title uh, against the gold, against the Concrete three weeks ago on Beatdown. Or maybe he maintained it, I should say, with a bomb su submission combo. Uh, quite an interesting move here. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> but now, picks him up. And, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's a power bomb. Boing! Big power bomb and a pin. A pin. This, this might do it. One. We got two. Oh! It's a okay. He loves to lift his shoulder and flipped it. Oh, just flipped it around himself. Now he's got him in a submission move. The Goldfather with a bag of tricks tonight. The Goldfather. He likes gold. He does. He loves gold. He even he even lost his genitalia in an unfortunate smelting accident. No, that was somebody else. I'm sorry, I was thinking of, of somebody. But uh, speaking of gold, gold is a form of money, and here comes Mr. Money, 
Big Sid, the pimp himself, with who, uh, oh, sorry, this is for the Inner Horseman Champion. No, it's not for the Inner Horseman Champion. Yes, it is. Fuck's sake. Get it right, Keys. I'm in sort of a frenzy right now. <laughs> but yes, he uh, he is the holder of the Inner Horseman Championship, which is what we're fighting for here tonight. And we saw him win that two weeks ago on Beatdown with on concrete as well with the bitch breaker they're not partners uh but let's see it was it was man on that was one on one in this match let's have a look but concrete picked up picked up again and big sid big sid another bitch breaker coming up and boom that third time on concrete now picking up again this could be it folks i think this has got to be it there's one there's two there's three and big sid wins concrete Somebody's gonna have to word, have a word with him. He is a very stupid wrestler. Big Sid, folks, a crowd favorite. He is not, and you can see why. Just he, he loves to abuse his fans, and, and some of them kind of like it too. <laughs> As you can tell by the spikes with the, uh, you, you don't want to see a sex room. It's it's a little a uh, little disturbing. But there it is, folks. The Inner Horseman Championship belt that we're gonna go battle for here tonight. The Goldfather. And Big Sid. There's the Goldfather there. Getting ready. Loosened up. Look at the shoulders. Look at that. Everybody's got big shoulders here in the HWA. And here we go. There's the bell. And Goldfather now starting out early. Just stomping. Got grabbing Big Sid. Punching him in the face. Old school. And uh, he's, he's not going to hold anything back here. You know, he wants that gold. He lost uh, he lost his gold temporarily. But that just opened him up for this belt. And he's looking to get some back. And he's going to take uh, Big Sid across the knee. Oh, Al can't watch as, a, as he stomps on him, too. In the far corner, you'll see Joe Petito, manager. And now, picking him up. And a body slam on Big Sid by Goldfather. Gold member. Gold, the Goldfather. I was right, I was right the first time, God damn it. Don't, don't, uh, don't question yourself. Or do. Or maybe. I don't know. So Goldfather waiting for Big Sid to get back up. And a clothesline knocks him right over the ropes. Oh, my. He, he timed that perfectly. And here comes Al to help out, maybe. But no, Goldfather coming out. Here's the count. Count started. And Al coming around. Al, what's Al, what's Al going to do? Is Al going to get involved here? And a punch to Big Sid by Goldfather. And Al, Al kind of holding back for a second there. And a suplex. Turnaround suplex. Bye. The, oh, oh, Al goes for Al goes to grab the Goldfather and then decides better of it. Backs away a little bit. And a knee to the, uh, with a four count. A knee to the Big Sid's back. And a stomp. The Big Sid's back up now. And Al coming, oh, getting sent to the table, crashing off is Big Sid. We're up to six here. Uh, we're going to get counted out. Big Sid getting picked up back, back up again by the Goldfather. We're up to seven, and he sends him back in the ring. And Goldfather goes back in as well. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want a disqualification because the belt can't change hands right then. We're on a count out. We, there, there was a, it used to be a D, no DQ, no count out roll, but they decided to do away with that. I'm not sure why. That's a, this is the, uh, the commissioner's call. It's his, it's his his association. What are you going to do? Well, you, most people would yell at him and make fun of him with that big-ass mustache he has. Three elbows to charm, of course, <laughs> on Goldfather, which is a, the match that we're talking about here, or supposed to be talking about. Now, Big Sid getting dragged out to the center. And, oh, he goes for the pin. Al's up. Al's trying to distract him, not working, but uh, Big Sid too, has too much energy to, to call it here. <laughs> so Al needs to work on his timing, I think, if he's going to distract the, the referee. But now, setting up for a suplex. Oh, a big suplex by the Goldfather on Big Sid. Joe Petito approves. He approves of this message. And Goldfather now standing back to show off a little bit. Joe's sweeping off his lapel. Is it just the, the masters of style here, definitely. Oh, a punch to the back. Oh, he tried to punch to the back and then decided just to pick him up instead. You rarely see that in a, in a match. <laughs> Usually just kind of follow through and, and punch. But uh, I guess in this case, it's a little different. Now... Big Sid getting picked up. Oh, I saw a chair slide in. Looks like Al's sending a chair in. And a big backdrop. Oh, the, the, what do they call that? The, yeah, a backdrop. I don't know. And now Goldfather getting sent out. The chair is there. And a, dro a drop kick now. A drop kick. A leg drop. There's all kinds of dro I'm dro dropping my lines, for one thing. And now, oh, Goldfather rolling out for instead of a third boot. Big Sid picks him up. And another body slam dra dragging his legs down the ropes. And, oh, he hurt his back really bad on that one. Oh, the chair. He's got the chair. And the, the, the ref's distracted, and he busts, in, he busts Goldfather right in the head. And the chair again. As Gold, as if, if you see, if the ref sees the chair, oh, he does see the chair. He's taking it away from Big Sid. And Goldfather now. Goldfather getting sent to the turnbuckles. So, a lucky break for Big Sid to, to beat on 
Goldfather with the chair there. The ref didn't see with Al distracting. It's a, it's a brutal team, I'll tell you. They, they know how to wrestle. They know how to take advantage of the situation. And now Al's distracting Goldfather. And Goldfather says, hey, I used to be with you, but now I'm the talent now that I have a new manager. And so while he's doing that, oh, Big Sid, Big Sid comes in with a neck breaker right on the back of the head. And the shockwave sending up to the fingertips on Goldfather. Goldfather getting picked up by Big Sid again. And, oh, a huge, a big wound up punch right to the right to the ribs. And sends the Goldfather to the ropes. Goldfather now, oh, shot to the ribs. And who got, who got the better of that one? I couldn't tell. Uh-oh, here comes the Greek on a leash. Choke slam by Goldfather. And Big Sid is down. Will that do it? I don't know. No, he's not going for the pin. He's got, oh, he's got a stump on his crotch. All right, then. Now, it's a Gold, Goldfather threatening somebody. It's in the crowd. And now picks up Big Sid. Big Sid, a little woozy. And goes for a German suplex right in. Yeah, good Lord, got ropes, got turnbuckle, got everything on that one. And now, looks like he's getting in position for something. Rolls Big Sid over. And, oh, he's going to go sit on the, sits on the knee there. Bending that right out of place. Oh, <laughs> big boot to the face. Into the throat. He was holding his throat on that one. Now, picks up Big Sid. And Big Sid will get, so oh, Big Sid will reverse and sends, sends Goldfather to the turnbuckle. Big Sid now, signaling. He's going to do something. He says, bring it. <laughs> Goldfather brings it, rolls him up in a package. There's a pin. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, and Big Sid kicks out. Goldfather with a sneaky move there. Oh, not so sneaky. Just went up to Big Sid and grabbed him. <laughs> and then, of course, the boot to the head. Lesson number one. Oh, it goes for another boot. But Big Sid rolls out of the way. Now, Big Sid has him up. And spin it. Oh, Goldfather reverses. Oh, and a DDT. That was, a, was, a, was that like a, the, the stunner, the Stone Cold stunner on Big Sid? Yeah, their, their repertoires are expanding. And now, oh, here we go again with the choke, the choke slam, that freak on a leash. Al's, Al's upset. Is he going to go for the pin? He's going to have to drag him into position first. Drags him out. Looks at Al, and then does go for the pin. Here's one. Oh, that's two. That's three! Goldfather has beaten Big Sid for the Inner Horseman Championship. Let's have a look at it again. Oh, my. That one ended kind of quickly and suddenly there. As you see, uh, oh, it was the, the roll-up package that the Goldfather had on Big Sid. It'd be nice if we could see it a little closer up. You know, the cameraman doesn't have to sit by the snack bar. He does drag him out, and that, oh, that was earlier when Al went up and says, hey, come over here, ref, come over here. But the ref was already counting. Like I say, Al needs to work on his timing a little bit there. And then here was a choke slam with the rope involved. Almost got in the way there. That could have been kind of disastrous with one choke slam. And then here's, oh, here was the package. Just kind of rolled him up there and got the pin. Joe Petito was like, yeah, that's the way you do it. That's, a, that's the way you get me my gold. And now here was the second choke slam. And this is what did it on Big Sid coming down hard. Oh, that head bouncing right off the mat. And then it was just a, just a matter of time. Goldfather had to drag him out. We're going to go through this, apparently. <laughs> he does drag him out. Are we, if he drags him out and we don't get to see the three count, that's going to be, I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> oh, and there he goes down. And in slow motion. And the ref, good Lord, the ref looked like he was going down on Goldfather. There was one. There was two. And, of course, number three. That earns you the Inner Horseman gold, championship gold here. There he is, the old father. As the crowd, crowd not, not real happy with him. Not real happy with Big Sid. It's a kind of a lose-lose situation here. But you see him sporting it, and uh, that's it. He's earned it. And with that, he will earn his chance to defend that exact same belt at Horseman Mania. An event you are not going to want to miss, folks. I'm, I am serious about this. Horseman Mania is going to have, it will have 10 matches Every, all the belts are on the line. It's going to be a hell of a show. So we will give you the details of it. Like I say, follow us on Facebook.com slash Horsemen Wrestling Association. It's all run together, one word. And uh, we're, going to, we're going to have to sign off here. But I will give you a preview of what's coming up this week on Beatdown. We're going to have the Falls Count Anywhere match between Satanic of Bloodlust and Big Bertha. Another six-man battle row coming up. Big Sid, Nature, Sabu, Fritzy, Redneck, Rufus, and the Gimp will all be in that one. And then we'll have the... Uh, did I do this right? No, I did not do this right. <laughs> or I did, no, I did do this right. Okay, the television title 
Okay, yes, 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 yes. I know what I'm doing. Television title will be on the line. El Loco versus Fuzz Pigman. A table match between Kathleen Dynamite and Charlotte Webb. And, of course, the Horseman World Championship match uh, to determine who will go into Horseman Mania for that. It's going to be Pedro X versus Concrete. Should be another great show. And I hope you'll join us on, thir- on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So, I'm going to sign off here. This is Keys with the Horseman Wrestling Association and the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. We'll see you later. Good night.